Hey, hey, how you doing? My name is Derek Williamson, realtor with Premier Coast Realty. And behind me, this big, beautiful house is going up for sale. All right, so real quick, let's talk about the area. We're out here on the west side. And the beauty of the west side is you get more home for the money. That's right, more home for the money. And then I'm walking all the way out here just to show you guys that this is in a, a cul-de-sac at the very back of the neighborhood. All right, just give you guys a quick little pin around. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna go ahead and talk about this house. I'm gonna take you on a detailed in-depth tour. So as you can see, man, this house is gorgeous. Just look at that. You got that nice stucco exterior with the stone accents. The house was just painted within the last year, so you don't have to worry about the paint for a while. And then look, check out this mailbox. Man, this thing is gorgeous. Address placard, forget about it. All right, so as we keep on going, you'll notice the yard. All right, how about this? Brand new side, one week old. That's right. Summertime comes, it's gonna be nice and gorgeous. Check out this palm tree right here. Very beautiful palm tree, all right? Then let's look, look at the curb appeal. All right, check this out. Fresh mulch, very nice curb appeal. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is, man, move in. Submit that offer, get it accepted and move in. All right, you have a gate off to the side of the house that uh, allows for you to get to the backyard pretty easy. And then on the other side, man, look how that garage pops, that red paint. And then look, check out this front door. It's red painted as well beautiful all right so you got your two-car garage and then check out up top very nice address placard all right then let's check off over to the side we have another gate that's right so if you need to get to the backyard you can get to the backyard from both sides of the house and then let's look up man come on now that is a home to come to come home to every day that's some king and queen type stuff right there look at those light fixtures very beautiful very beautiful and yeah, check out up top very nice light fixture but all right let's keep it moving so as you go to the front door you're greeted by a ring doorbell or a nest doorbell with the camera all right then you have a very nice fixture on your door you have a nice keypad and then as we walk in man check this out you're greeted with travertine tile flooring that's right travertine tile flooring and this travertine tile goes upstairs as well. All right, so before we go upstairs, let's take a look at this for you. All right, as you can see, that for you is pretty wide. All right, um, back here by the stairs, I can extend my arms and touch both walls, but up here, yeah, my arms won't reach that wall. All right, so let's look up top. Man, are you serious? Look at that light fixture and the accent on the ceiling. Come on, man, forget about it. Of course, central, heating and AC, forget about it. Look at that massive window, man. That thing is gorgeous. Oh yeah. And then let's check out these front doors. Very nice, very nice. All right, so over here immediately to the right is the dining room area. And man, that is one big room. Check out the accent on the walls. Very nice, you got a nice arched doorway leading into the kitchen. And of course, up top, very nice light fixture with crown molding surrounding this area. All right, so you got the nice crown molding. Okay, so of course, this one, in this room, you get that beautiful hardwood flooring. All right, and as you can see, these owners have a very long table and I mean, imagine what you can put in here. And then look at all this space that you still have available over here, heading towards the foyer. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen. Man, come on, check this out. Stainless steel, stainless steel accessories, you know, your microwave, your stove, your range, and your fridge. Granite countertops, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Check this out, ice and water maker, and it's lit. So that way, if you come down at nighttime, 
You can fill your drinks. Look at all those outlets for you to plug up your devices. You know what I mean? So if you need to charge your phones while you're cooking, you got it. You got multiple things like um, toasters, coffee makers, etc. You got plenty of areas to plug up. Check out this backsplash. Come on, man. Forget about it. And then look, under cabinet lighting. All right. And then, of course, you have fixtures on your cabinets so you can open them easy. I'm not going to show you what's inside. Those are this, this house is lived in. 42 inch upper cabinets with the molding on the top. Of course, crown molding in the kitchen. Like I said, that's that beautiful archway that leads out into the uh, dining room area. And then check this out. You get another cabinet, 42 inch for storage. Check that out. Coffee maker right there. Very beautiful backsplash again. And then you get more storage beneath, okay? You get that beautiful pantry door with the glass on it, all right? If you guys wanna see what, how much space you get back there, let me know and we can schedule a showing. All right, check this center island out. The center island is on wheels, so you can relocate it as you need to. You may need to shift it around, you know, if you have people in here or you wanna use it in a different part of the house or something like that, all right? And look at those countertops. Very beautiful granite countertops. All right, so let's let's see what the storage is looking like. All right, so you get storage here, of course. Stainless steel microwave or stainless steel of or Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it everything except the dishwasher. <laughs> so you get a stainless steel dishwasher, more storage up under the sink area, and then more storage off to the side. Okay, then let's check out this other side. Okay, storage on both sides of the stove. And then up top, 42 inch upper cabinets. See that nice glass decoration with the light inside? You can do a lot of things with that and then you get more storage. So I think this house has you covered on storage. And this is just the kitchen, man. I mean, just look at that. Very beautiful, very beautiful. All right. And then of course, I just wanna get you a close up of the faucets. You get the soap dispenser. You get a very nice faucet set up, all right. And then you get a in-sink aerator. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, so let's check this area out back here. Now this is your eat-in kitchen area, and it's very spacious. Once again, travertine tile, you know, throughout the kitchen. All right, and then up top, very nice light fixture. Man, check that out. Check out this light fixture. Come on, man, that's gorgeous. All right. Then of course you get the window that shows you outside, which is very nice. And then you get another window that shows you outside, which is very nice. And let me come all the way back here to this back wall, just to show you how much space you get in here. Come on, man, this area is massive. You get this nice accent wall with the cutout that shows into the family room as that, that uh, picture on the wall indicates. And then check this out, before we go in there, how about this, you get travertine tile on the back side where you put the bar stools along with these beautiful, beautiful decorations right here. Come on, man, you don't have to worry about cleaning that when people's knees bump up against the counter and stuff like that. That's very easy to maintain, all right? So as we go into the family room, that beautiful travertine tile is continued. That's right, it's continued. All right, let's look up. All right, so crown molding across the top. You get a very nice ceiling fan, light fixture, all right? Of course, on this wall, you get the fireplace, all right? Man, this thing is gorgeous. And look at that, the fire is going. Come on, man. Very beautiful. And the beauty of it is, it's electronically controlled, all right? So if you want heat, you can turn the heat on. If you don't want heat, you don't have to turn the heat on. All right, so let's take a look at this family room area. All right, and as you can see up top, man, they got a very nice TV and surround system. And check this out, the house is pre-wired for surround sound. You see these little, these little plastic covers up here? That's for you to put your own surround sound integrated into the house, okay? And then that TV, man, that's, that's like an 80 inch TV. So you know you can go up to 100 inches easy up in here. And then let's say that if you don't want your TV to be on that wall, and check out this wall over here. Very big wall coming off the kitchen. 
you can hang a big TV right there. And once again, that's that beautiful kitchen. Man, that thing is gorgeous. All right, but let's keep it moving. Okay, so on the first floor, of course you get the laundry room area. Look at that travertine towel. Once again, easy access to the air handler system if you need to change the filter or anything. Storage in the laundry room. And not just storage, a good amount of storage. Look at these countertops, man. Very nice countertops. And then check out up top, more storage. That's right, more storage. And then look, washer and dryer, okay? Man, come on. This is nice. This is nice. All right. So let's keep it moving. Of course, you get that beautiful Nest thermostat. You can control that wirelessly. That's your, uh, your alarm system if you choose to stay with Brinks. All right. And then, I mean, even look, look at the surround to the uh, light covers. You know, your light fixtures and your outlets. Come on, man. That's very nice. Of course, in the closet, we have storage. All right. Then straight ahead, we have a full bathroom. All right, you get a nice vanity. You know what I mean? Nice mirror. Check yourself out in. Nice light fixtures up top. Come on, man. And then check this out. Push button, toilet. You know what I'm saying? You got the number one button, you know, when you don't make a mess. And then you got the number two button, you know what I'm saying? When you uh, make a mess. You get controls right there. Come on, man. And then look, check this out. Beautiful light fixture. This window leads out to the backyard. And of course, you get a full top sh tub, sh tub shower combination, Jesus. If I can talk, I'm excited if you can't tell. Come on, man. And then look, see this mirror is nice and big. You know, I'm looking at the chest. You know, maybe I need to do some more push-ups or something. You know what I mean? Some more pull-ups, something like that. You feel me? But anyway, that door right there leads out to the two-car garage. I'm not going to open it just in case the owners have storage. Of course, you get more storage right here next to the closet. This is underneath the closet storage. And I mean, underneath the closet, underneath the stairs storage. And speaking of stairs, we're about to go upstairs. Check this out. As you look at the staircase, beautiful hardwood, beautiful hardwood coming off that travertine tile. And then you get those nice accent pieces going up. You get a nice wooden handrail. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and take a look up here and see what we're working with. Well, that's a big old gorgeous house. You know what I mean? All right, so up top, of course, travertine tile once again. All right, then check this area out. Man, that's one big, beautiful loft area, man. You get the ledge, and then you get a very nice view of that beautiful light fixture, and you can see clearly out that front window. All right, and here's the downstairs area, travertine tile once again with that special design as you walk into the to the foyer area but anyway back up here to this loft area okay up top you get upgraded crown molding look how big that crown molding is come on man all right so upgraded crown molding all right then of course in the loft area itself you get a very nice ceiling fan and then you get this cut out indentation in the wall and come on man that area is big enough man you could easily you know what I mean? Like on that little thing, you could probably sit a 60 inch TV easy. You know, plenty of outlets all around. The double door, you get the uh, French doors leading out to the upstairs patio. And you know me, I love those screened in patios. And guess what? This patio is screened in. All right, so let's check this out. All right, pan around. That's a beautiful store shed. And man, this light fixture is huge, huge. Let's see, put my hand up there for reference. All right, that's my hand, I'm five foot 10. Man, that thing is huge. All right, so anyway, like I said, you get that screen in. Gotta love these screens, you know, how these bugs out here in Florida can be. And then look at that. If you don't want nobody directly behind you, I mean, like they got the, uh, they got these towers out here, you know, these power towers out here. So they're not gonna be building any houses in this little open field before you see those neighbors' houses way back there. And then check that out, privacy fence all the way around the yard, all the way, okay? And then while we're back here, of course, up top, you get a ceiling fan. 
Of course, that's those beautiful French doors. And see over here, they have the two chairs, but look at all the space, look at all this room, all right? And then, you know, of course, excuse the, uh, all of the pollen out here, it's just that season. But man, anyway, let's go back in this house. Still got plenty more to talk about. All right. Close that door, get that thing nice and locked. Never can be too safe, even with a screen upstairs. All right, so look at the beautiful wood. I mean, look at the paneling on these walls. Come on, man. And then right here, you get an integrated office set up. All right, you get storage, both up top and down bottom. Of course, up top, very nice light fixture. It's not on right now, but trust me, it's very nice. That upgraded crown molding, all right, that's taller than normal. You still get those accents, and then here are the bedrooms. All right, so you get one kid's room right here. All right, up top, nice ceiling fan. They got the dark blinds on the window, but look, it's natural light still coming into this room. All right, very nice carpeted floors. All right, and then I'm gonna walk inside, get a double sliding door closet, okay? All right, so that should be plenty of storage for whoever lives in this room. And then this room right here, this is a nice room as well, all right? As you can see, lots of natural light coming into the room. And then you get a very nice, you know, single door closet. And then the room is off, the entry into the room is angled. All right, so it's not a square shape. Got a slight little angle on that room. And then as we keep it moving, we're gonna go over here to this bathroom. All right, so check this bathroom out. All right, plenty of storage, of course, travertine tile, of course. Oh, and then travertine tiles out in this hallway as well. All right, travertine tile on the wall. Come on, man, that's gorgeous. Then of course you get your uh, tub shower combination. You get that window letting in lots of natural light. All right, very nice light fixture up top. Then let's keep it moving. Check out this kid's room, man. How gorgeous is that? Come on, man. Even if you ain't got kids, you gotta love that right there. All right, and then look, those are two twin beds, but look how big this room is. All right, of course, a lot of natural light once again. Very nice ceiling fan up top. All right, and then check this out. These are not picture frames, all right? That's actually integrated into the wall. So you can take this and make this your own. You know, they got the, uh, the first letter initial for the kids. Of course, this back here is the accent wall that's painted the same color as these built-in accents on the wall. You get a sliding, double sliding door closet, okay? Very nice soft carpet. And man, I'll tell you what, there is no stains on this carpet. I haven't seen one stain in this house, okay? Now, if you're ready to be wild, I'm ready to wow you. Let's check out this owner suite. Come on, man. Look at all the space up in here. Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. That's a king size bed. You could easily put two king size, maybe even three of them side by side, right here in this area alone. And then this is me stepping back into the study area. Man, come on. Look at that. All right. Beautiful accents on both corners of this study room, okay? Beautiful soft carpet in this study room. Of course, those windows let in not lots of natural light. You get a very nice light fixture up top, crown molding surrounds it. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna back up over here. Oh, and that bathroom is gonna blow y'all away too. All right, so as you can see, man, I know, I know your head is filling up with all kinds of ideas of what you could do with a house like this. Come on, man, beautiful ceiling fan up top. You know what I mean? Beautiful crown molding up top. Look how that door pops against the paint colors on the wall. Come on, man. Then you get a closet over there. I'm not gonna open it. This house is lived in, so I won't be opening that closet. And then check this out. Owner suite bathroom. Come on, man. Beautiful travertine towel greets you as you walk in. And of course, let me show you this real quick. You have French doors that lead you into the bathroom. Okay, you have your, um, you have a couple of closets in here. All right, that's the owner's closet. I would show it, but it's lived in, so I'm not gonna show it. That's your, uh, your linen closet right there. 
This is your toilet closet, you know what I mean? So when you do your doo-doo number two, poo-poo, you know what I mean? You, you ain't gonna be running people up out the room for 30, 45 minutes, but you still might do that though, depending on which eight. All right, check this out. On the shower, trapeze tile, decking the walls. Come on, man. And then look, check out this garden tub. Not only do you get a garden tub, you get a step up, you get jets, and then you get that travertine tile surrounding it as well. Come on, man, that is gorgeous. All right, you get more storage room over here in this closet. Of course, this nice window lets in a lot of natural light. All right, then you get the dual sink vanity. Okay, you know, here's and hers or hers and hers, you know, storage beneath. Up top, very nice light fixtures. And man, check out the design behind those lights, all right? Get the, uh, you know, the medicine window, all right? And then look, you get outlets right here so you can charge your phone or charge the radio while you relax and take you, you know, a nice bath after a long day. You know what I mean? You just soak and let them jets hit you up. All right, so now with that being out the way, we're gonna go ahead and head on back downstairs. We're gonna check out this backyard. And man, not only is the house big, but the backyard is big too. All right, so I'm just heading back downstairs. Show y'all that travel team one more time. Ugh, that's that travel team, man. Beautiful, beautiful. And then just look at the accents in these floors as we walk over here to the back sliding glass door area. Come on, man. All right, so French doors leading outside. Oh, and what I forgot to point out upstairs, is if you want to open this door, you just slide this little bad boy, you know what I mean? And you can open the door so you can have both doors open. All right, excuse the dog cage. Hey, they love their, their dog, so, you know, you might have a pet as well. But anyway, check this out, man. This is a nice big area. I'm gonna pan down so you can see where my shoes are. Check that out. All right, so this area is nice and big. All right, once again, that fence provides full privacy in the backyard. Screened in Lanai, of course. Look, trapping them bugs. Yeah, it's the trap up here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, all right, so let's head on out back. All right, check this out, man. If you need a, a shed, man, come on, man. This thing looks commercial grade. And guess what? It's also color matched with the house. And it was freshly painted last year. Look at those red doors, the same as the driveway. Um, the garage door in the driveway. Come on, man. All right. Then, of course, like I said, you have a gate here. And you also have a sidewalk that leads you all the way to the back of the house. All right. Okay. And then, man, come on, look up. Man, that's gorgeous. You get spotlights, you know what I'm saying, just in case somebody try to jump your fence or something like that. And then look at the accents you get along the uh, top of the house there. Very nice. All right, so let's check out this yard. Once again, that's that beautiful shed. And it's also uh, climate controlled, by the way. Okay. So here's the uh, fence. And then check out over the fence. All right. So this is an unob unobstructed view of what's behind the fence back here. All right. So this field right here, nothing will be built directly behind you okay all right so let's keep it moving you get beautiful trees back here of course all right man look at that thing i gotta pan the phone up to see this big old monster of a house <laughs> all right so i'm just literally walking the length of the yard man this thing is huge 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 okay so this is one side of the fence and then the fence goes down there and then the fence goes around that's the house and then look fence go man come on man this is a big old yard big old house man what's not to love <laughs> all right i'm just gonna go over here real quick to this side and then we're gonna get ready to wrap this tour up so just to give you guys an idea all right and i am just now getting to this other side of the fence all right, once again, that fence keeps going. That's the other side. Then of course, this being a, uh, in a cul-de-sac, you get this bigger lot, all right? 
So if you want a big light, man, you need to check this one out. All right. Okay, so here's the privacy fence. I'm five foot tall. I'm leaning all the way back against it. You know what I mean? So there you go. Anyway, with that, if you're looking for a beautiful two-story home on the west side where you get more house for the money, all right, close access to the interstates, 95 and I-10, all right, if you need a lot of square footage, you get it here, you get over 3,000 square feet. You want a newer roof, the roof is only one year old, and the way those shingles look, I'm pretty sure they're a 50 year shingle. Don't quote me on that, but they look like the 50 year shingles to me. If they're not 50, they're at least 30, okay? Um, so, like I said, big old beautiful house, west side Jacksonville, in a cul-de-sac, big yard, plenty of space, the king's and queen's owner suite. Man, come on, that, that alone impressed me. So, anyway, with that being said, if you're looking for something like this, you know, or if you need help getting qualified, anything like that, look, reach out to me. My name is Derek Williamson, Realtor with Premier Coast Realty. And it's, as always, it's my pleasure to bring beautiful houses like this to you. If you have any questions, like I said, hit me up, 904-660-1924. Again, Derek Williamson, Derek Sales Jack. Derek Sells Jacks, Realtor with Premier Coast Realty. Y'all have a good one.